this is a model that we have used. This is a pre-built model of sentiment analysis. So we don't have to write the code for the sentiment analysis. Right. So let me run this till the time we'll explain the code. So in this, this is a built inbuilt model in Python, NLP town, bird based multilingual uncased sentiment. So this model will form will have the code for the sentiment analysis and it will be used to classify our sentences. So here we will be classifying it into three forms, either negative sentence, either a positive sentence or a neutral sentence. So we have four sentences. Let's walk through them. I used the bird for natural language processing task. It was great. The product broke within a week of purchase. Terrible experience. The service was excellent and I'm very satisfied with the experience. I don't like this watch. It's, it's color is too dull. Now you can make out that if I'm writing it was great. It is something which is positive. You know, I'm happy about it. So this is a comment. So whatever we write with the asterisk mark or with a, a hashtag mark, it becomes a comment in Python. So I have just classified it for my own convenience to check whether the, my model is working right or not, whether it is classifying it as a positive sentence or not. So similarly, if you have a word keyword such as terrible experience, we can assume that we can make sure that it's a negative uh, sentiment, right? Similarly, if I'm saying something excellent and satisfied, again, a positive comment. Now let's see whether our model has, class, has correctly classified these uh, sentences or not. So they have imported all these uh, packages. And finally, uh, we have a sentence that I used bird for natural language processing task. It was great. And it has classified the sentiment as positive sentence. Similarly, the product broke into within a week of purchase. Terrible experience. Again, they have classified it as negative sentiment. So my model is perfectly working fine. So you see, it's a very small sentences. And if you have to classify n number of tweets or the Instagram charts or Facebook charts or WhatsApp chart that we use in everyday conversation, in every minute's conversation, I suppose. So how much huge data we have. And if you uh, can classify this humongous data within few lines of code, I think it will be, it's a boom to us, right? Whether if, uh, we want to use it for any uh, building any new application or we want to make uh, do it for the, any research paper if you are from the ed tech company or even in the financial institutions financial uh, industry we want to analyze the credit card fraudulent transactions so it's a boon to every industry nowadays so the various companies and various applications that we have on transformers and nlp is google translate I'm sure you must have Google Translate. So let's see. So Google Translate, if I write any sentence and I want to convert it, hi, very good evening, right? And I want to convert it into a French language. So it's it's a new response, sorry. So this is a language. So for us, it's a very convenient, right? We are just giving the input and we are getting the output. But if you have to develop this, we can automatically develop this with a lot of customizations using Python uh, programming language. Similarly, we have products like IBM Watson and Send Copilot. It's a customer relationship management with customers used to manage their accounts. We have Cortona. I'm sure everyone must be aware of Cortona. It's a Microsoft product. And we have Grammarly. So Grammarly is a very common um, software nowadays, which we use it to correct the grammar, to complete the sentences. So all these applications are built on NLP and transformers, which we are using it unknowingly, right? Now, we came to a topic that is large language models. So large language model is nothing new. It is, again, based on the concept of NLP and transformers. But transformers, here we are working on few parameters. Let's say we are working on 10 parameters or we are working on 8 billion parameters. But what if we are working on 540 billion parameters? By 540 billion parameters, I mean to say if I am working on the entire Wikipedia of uh, Google. You know, I have a lot of text, a lot of fields, a lot of translation, a lot of pattern recognition techniques involved in the Wikipedia. So a lot of topics are there. So if I have to process all those humongous data, I will be needing more advancement on my transformer model. And that is something where large language models come into the picture. So it's again an AI technique with, in which we train massive amount of text data to understand, generate, and interact with human language. 